a few other of the secrets of the boarding school curriculum of power. Uh, mastery of the social forms. Let me, and I would say it didn't take more than two days to take kids who had never eaten off a tablecloth and get them to see that the signs they give off when there's a egg glass spilled on the shirt or when they walk down the street listening to the radio or when they're too aggressive in approaching somebody shuts off opportunity. They're like little badges that I don't want to speak to that person. And a lot of what we a lot of what we consider as racial or ethnic prejudice is simply that the disguise of these social forms is unknown to the person who then is discriminated against. And I said, don't believe me. I said, I'm going to instruct you in a superficial gloss of how to approach people. And then the intellectual excuse we'll use is I'm sending you out of school for days to gather data for statistical processing. We're going to test the local the local comparison with what the New York Times says the nation is thinking. And I'll teach you the elementary statistics in one class session that you need. And it's a legitimate project. But meanwhile, you don't want to approach somebody and have them jump back or say, if you don't get away from me, I'll call the police. And that's what you think will happen because of the overt racial prejudice on the liberal west side of Manhattan. But it won't happen, I guarantee. Nor did it. Nor did it. The transition, I, don't, I won't say it was 100%, but it surely was 80% simply from having a gloss on these social forms. And then this should, this should tickle people watching this segment. Then suddenly I saw that the rules of access to the great institutions of New York City by young people, which required, let's say, at the sub-treasury building where the gold is kept down in Wall Street, one teacher for every five students, well, a public school class of 30 students, you're not going to muster six teachers. But I said to the kids, how do they know you're not a teacher? Well, we're only 13. Nobody knows that. They know it because you're chewing gum with your mouth open. They know it because you're scratching your head. They know it because you slouch. They know it because you giggle. They know it because you carry a notebook that falls on the ground every few minutes and paper goes everywhere. Why don't we master what a college student who could be a student teacher, what signs they would give off. They'd carry a clipboard. They'd cock it at an arrogant angle on their hip. They would be slightly nasty and taking attendance every few minutes or saying, when your mother hears about this, Jack, you know, I said, let's see if we can pick five people out of this class and penetrate security at the sub-treasury building, at the mayor's office, anywhere. We were never caught. Not once. Now, the Bronx Zoo says one for every 15 kids. But how are you going to even get two teachers to take kids to the Bronx Zoo? There. Well, it's easy if the kids can shift from being 13 to being arrogant college student teachers, never caught in eight years of doing this.